quick disclaimer before I get into this video. And again, I've said it before, I am not a doctor. I am simply going from the experiences and things that I encounter through family, friends, and everyone else in my reality to come to these decisions. I absolutely have an incredible respect for many doctors, the great ones, the ones who follow the oath, especially emergency room doctors, because they put themselves in scenarios that I can't even fathom. I would pass out immediately and would never be able to do any of that. And certain surgeons, etc., that are great, people that are researching, there's so many doctors that are amazing, but there are sadly far too many that aren't. And that's what brings upon this video. If you are presently living in this realm, then I believe you are in the same boat as me and you have uh, had enough of the medical industry absolutely completely disavowing the oath which is supposed to be sacred and is supposed to be something that they hold dear to them. It's supposed to be the center, the backbone of why medical practice is so important and essential to humanity and it keeps them in line so that they don't, you don't get what we have now. A disaster of a medical industry. So, such little trust in any of these people if you're awake but for those who are not, dear God, it's, it's, these people are taking advantage for money. They're less, they are way sleazier than any used car salesman cliche could ever even put to caliber. It's, it's, a to it's what they're doing now in the last couple of years is absolutely sickening. So I wanted to read this oath and talk about it and then in the middle share my art and at the end share a song because I have a new artwork inspired by the Hippocratic Oath and it is um, I could have gone a couple different ways but I, I kept a very pure way and it's interesting you guys will check it out but here it is I swear by Apollo physician by Asclepius by health by heal all and by all the gods and goddesses, making them witnesses that I will carry out, according to my ability and judgment, this oath and this indenture, to regard my teacher in this art as equal to my parents, to make him partner in my livelihood, and when he is in need of money, to share mine with him, to consider his offspring equal to my brothers, to teach them this art, if they, return, if they require to learn it without fee or indenture, and to impart precept, oral instruction, and all the other learning to my sons, to the sons of my teacher, and to pupils who have signed the indenture and sworn obedience to the physician's law, but to none other. I will use treatment to help the sick according to my ability and judgment, but I will never use it to injure or wrong them. I will not give poison to anyone though asked to do so, nor will I suggest such a plan. Similarly, I will not give a pessary to a woman to cause abortion, but in purity and in holiness I will guard my life and my art. I will not use the knife either on sufferers from stone, but I will give place to such as are craftsmen therein. Into whatsoever houses I enter, I will do so to help the sick, keeping myself free from all intentional wrongdoing and harm, especially from fornication with woman or man, bond or free. Whatsoever in the course of practice I see or hear, or even outside in my practice in social intercourse, that ought never to be published abroad, I will not divulge, but consider such things to be holy secrets. Now if I keep this oath and break it not, may I enjoy honor in my life and art among all men for all time. But if I transgress and forswear myself, may the opposite befall me. So, Again, they, they attribute this to Hippocrates of, of ancient Greece and, and whatnot, but is that the origin? You know, was, since we know all the text is compromised and you know that um, they replace things, and uh, is, it, is it safe to think that this inscription is from thousands of years old or was altered during the Rothschild Roth Rockefeller takeover of the medical industry in the whenever that was, early, late 1800s? When everything went from great chiropractor, herbalism, all kinds of pure natural methods to nonsense. And so here is the drawing that I wanted to unveil to you with this today. As you can see, Hippocrates, that's based on a sculpture that exists. I forget where, outside a hospital, I think. He is holding his stomach because he is satisfied with the delicious vegetables and fruits he has eaten and partaken in from the amazing side. And if you just look at the very basic elements of health, let food be thy medicine, absolutely an eternal statement that doesn't matter who said it, it's true. And you consider that and then you take a look at any hospital food 
and the nutritional quality and the poison that it comes from. And you have to ask yourself, are any of, is, are all of these doctors guilty of, of breaking this oath? Because they recommend McDonald's. They recommend ice cream to cancer patients. They recommend tons of dairy and ice cream to pregnant women. All this stuff, knowing that, like, it, it, so they break the oath with that. And that's just a small part. That's the free advice they give. The stuff that people's insurance and whatever, and they pay for to, to get advice from and get led down particular paths is absolutely sickening and certainly breaks this oath of do no harm. And I will not give poison to anyone, though asked to do so. How many doctors broke that in the past two or three years or past 50 years? A lot. And everywhere they go, they just, they, you know, it's a totally different world. They actually revised the um, Hippocratic Oath, and this is it. I'll actually tell this one because it's a little more fitting. I'm not sure exactly when they revised it, but they did, always. And, um, and I've, heard, I've seen a couple different wordings of that oath, the ancient ones, so there's no telling, again, where anything came from. But even still, at the very basic foundations, what's happening now is not following these orders. They are just completely violating it. And so this is the revised one, which they are also violating. It says, I swear to fulfill to the best of my ability and judgment this covenant. I will respect the hard-won scientific gains of those physicians in whose steps I walk and gladly share such knowledge as is mine with those who are to follow. I will, so that's changed. <laughs> I will apply for the benefit of the sick all measures that are required Avoiding those twin traps of overtreatment and therapeutic nihilism. Yikes. I will remember that there is art to medicine as well as science, and that warmth, sympathy, and understanding may outweigh the surgeon's knife or the chemist's drug. I will not be ashamed to say I know not, nor will I fail to call in my colleagues when the skills of another are needed for a patient's recovery. That one they need to remember. I will respect the privacy of my patients, for their problems are not disclosed to me that the world may know. Most especially must I tread with care in matters of life and death. If it is given to me to save a life, all thanks, but it may also be within my power to take a life. This, is, this awesome responsibility must be faced with great humbleness and awareness of my own frailty. Above all, I must not play at God. They really need to remember that one, Fauci. I will remember that I do not treat a fever chart, a cancerous growth, but a sick human being whose illness may affect the person's family and economic stability. My responsibility includes these related problems if I aim to care adequately for the sick. I will prevent disease whenever I can, for prevention is preferable to cure. I will remind, remember that I remain a member of society with special obligations to all my fellow human beings, those sound of mind and body as well as the infirm. If I do not violate this oath, may I enjoy life and art, respected while I live and remembered with affection thereafter. May I always act so as to preserve the finest traditions of my calling, and may I long experience the joy of healing those who seek my help. So, wow. And then it just says at the end, this is kind of interesting, it says, Thus the classical oath of Hippocratic involves the triad of the physician, the patient, and God, while the revised version involves only the physician and the patient reliving the gods, uh, relieving the gods of a few responsibilities. So that's also kind of interesting, which goes again with everything. The godless society that they try to create and foster in our present day world. And it's really sad because that is what humbles people. People have come to think of money, doctors, all these different things as gods or as or allowed to play this god character and can do no wrong. And, you know, that people trust that this oath is preserved in each generation of doctors. And when it's not, something has to be has to be done, at least has to be said, because uh, what we've witnessed in the past couple of years to get to the present political and health state that the world is currently in suffering from is uh is not worth it and should have never happened it's it, it's all of this should have never happened and it's it's really sad that it does and if this hippocratic oath was followed by 99 even 50 even 20 30 percent of the doctors then maybe there would have been a fight between those who do not believe in this and who have taken the God out of their medicine and are, 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 have an agenda or may know of some information and hide it from their patients or get kickbacks and, not, and tend to not really care about what those side effects may be and what it will, harm it will cause the family and the economic struggles that they will then face and the emotional troubles and just the, the, art, the act 
of losing a member of your family before their proper time. That is an index that is an absolutely the worst offense taking an innocent person's years away in or making them in a, in a vegetative a bad state of health by guiding them completely wrong and again with my artwork the food is the main is the main thing and if Hippocrates were real and exactly the way he uh, we presume him to be a kind of a, uh, a hero of doctors and of medicine and just kind of getting the practice right on the money and started off in the right way at the right foot at the right genesis he although he probably knew from others in the past I'm sure medicine and healing and herbs have been going since the creation of earth but since we all work perfectly with everything that we've been given by the Creator. And so it is um, just important that people know that food and natural healing, nature grown medicine is the absolute best. I'm under the firm belief that there is pretty much nothing in the realm of natural pure nature that is bad. Everything has its own purpose. Everything has its use in multiple states. Every herb can be made into a tea, a paste, a resin, smoked, inhaled, exhale, I can do everything, make soaps out of them. Everything can, can be combined and then to make different things, different combinations. All these miracles that we've been given, all these plants, all these vegetables, all these fruits, all these mushrooms, that they're just perfect. We didn't need to ever go beyond that. And so it's time, I think, beyond time that we break back from it. And the only way to do it is to make one industry monetarily crumble. And that is the one that just has needles all over the place that keeps coming up with more and more sick medicines to harm pe people in various ways. We're coming up with ways to dump chemicals on us from the sky, nanotech nonsense, masks, all these different things, all these ways, the abortions, the everything that they do to convince us of what is wrong and what it goes against our humanity, our spirit, our souls, everything. It goes against everything. When we have all the delicious fruits and vegetables that we could that are just all perfect, they all harmonize with our bodies miraculously. And if one doesn't, you'll find another one that does. And it, it'll never be harmed except maybe in the case of mushrooms and things like that. But it's all part of a miracle process that is welcome to be exploited by everyone <clears throat> because it's designed for everyone. Excuse my throat, but... <laughs> I need some tea. See, I will go to the herb, always. And I recommend that to all of you. Again, I'm not a doctor, but if I was, I would certainly follow my Hippocratic Oath and not go down the path of the Hippocratic Oath, which is ruining this entire world, family, and friends, sadly. And anyone out there who is a doctor, think again. We all hold ourselves responsible to the Creator. Whatever you believe that is, or whatever ultimate reality has the creator as that should be enough that used to be enough of an oath when you're a human you kind of have that fear of of your creator not liking your actions and then you know making that next realm which could be an absolute miracle beyond any type of nirvana fathom ability you can ruin that and that is not worth it for a lot of people it's not worth it for me i believe in karma and all of that stuff so doctors you all should too money is not the most important thing health is and you all are taking a bunch of money so much in ruining people's health so please uh, this is a beg to all doctors wake up and start doing good in nothing but good redeem yourselves you have a lot of work to do and let's get back to the natural everyone bless you all I don't see it on a national level, merely because of all the situations you have upon encroaching upon its person's freedom to make their own choice. No, I don't think it should be mandatory. I wouldn't demand it be mandatory. Those are decisions the federal government is not going to make. You're not going to see a central mandate coming from the federal government. That's not the role of the federal government. This is a decision that historically uh, has not come to the federal government. It's extremely unlikely that you're going to get a central federal mandate for vaccines. I mean, I, I cannot see that that's in the cards.
it's no secret that I feel that we should not have central mandates for the federal government. not happened ever to my knowledge at a national level. Our interest is very simple from the federal government, which is Americans' privacy and rights should be protected. There will be no nationwide mandate. I don't think you'll ever see a mandate in the effects, particularly for the general public. This is not about freedom personal choice. My job as president is to protect all Americans. So tonight, I'm announcing that the Department of Labor is developing an emergency law to require all employers